Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I have my top tips and tricks for how to do your makeup when you wear glasses. Um, I had mentioned wearing glasses in a recent video and I got so many requests to do a tutorial on how to do your eye makeup so that your eyes pop and can be seen from behind your lenses, how to keep your under eye concealer nice and smooth so that your eyeglasses don't accentuate wrinkles going on underneath your eyes, and also how to get your makeup to stick underneath the nose pads of your glasses, which is a tall order that I am going to try. We're going to do a little experiment today. I have been trying, trying, trying for years to get makeup to stick there. I can't do it. I'm not sure that it's possible actually to do it. So some glasses, the lenses will actually make your eyes look smaller, in which case you will want to um, try to wear your eye makeup so that your eyes will look bigger. And some lenses will actually magnify, which mine do, and make your eyes look bigger, which is great. So you don't really have to do like too, too much eye makeup to make them look bigger, but they are kind of behind glass and you want them to pop. So depending on what color frames you're wearing, it may already be drawing attention to your eyes. These frames in particular are really a neutral color. Just with these glasses alone, without any eye makeup on, definitely washed out in the eye area, but if I switch out to my other pair of glasses, which are very similar frames, but I got them in a darker matte color, you can see that this brings a lot of attention to my eye area automatically. So the first thing to think of when you're choosing your frames is how much attention you want to draw to your eye area. If you want more attention, I would get a darker frame. And if you want less attention to your eye area, I would get frameless or a lighter color frame like these guys that I showed you here. This video isn't sponsored, but I did get my glasses at Glasses USA. They always have BOGOs. I got these as a buy one, get one. And what I love most about these and one of my problems with glasses is then how do you wear sunglasses? And so they also had these sunglasses clip-ons that fit both these frames. I was very happy to see because these are actually two different frames even though they're very similar. So I love the clips. You just clip them right onto the glasses when you're ready to go out. And so you don't have to then buy prescription sunglasses. So I'm going to take my glasses off to do the rest of my makeup. Of course, I can't see now, so you guys are gonna to have to bear with me. One of the things that you really need when you're gonna be doing your eye makeup with glasses when you can't see anything is a good magnifying lighted mirror. This is the one that I have. I've had it for a few years, and I think I got this one at Costco, but I don't believe they have it anymore. I have found a very similar mirror to this on Amazon, and I'll link it in the information box below. But this is a lighted mirror on both sides. So this side is normal magnification. The other side is 10x magnification. All right, so I've already put on my foundation. I haven't done my under eye concealer and I haven't done any eyeshadow. But the way I put on my foundation is that I put my foundation on the lower part of my nose, say from halfway down my nose down because I have a lot of redness in my face there so I want to be sure to cover that but I really don't bring my foundation up here onto the bridge of my nose or onto the sides of my nose. What I do have of course is glasses marks. I could put makeup on them to try to cover them up but of course the second I put on my glasses they're covered so I don't really need makeup on them but one thing that I do recommend is powdering that area because that will help to keep the oils at bay a little bit so I'm just going to use a loose translucent powder it's not going to add any color this is the it cosmetics bye bye pores powder and I'm just going to take a small powder brush. This is my Real Techniques setting brush. So I'm just going to powder where the nose pads are and across the bridge of my nose. And we'll just keep that out because we're going to use it in a few minutes for our under eye concealer. So let me go ahead and I'm first going to prime my eyelids. I'm using Fenty Amplify Primer. It really helps to keep my eyeshadow in place. The last thing you want is creased eyeshadow because you will be able to see it when your glasses magnify that area. So I just put a little bit of this kind of in the crease of each eye and then just blend it in with my fingers. All right, next let's go in with the under eye concealer. I've tested so many under eye concealers. The best one in my opinion is Lancome Mackie Complete. This one is hydrating. It's also kind of lightweight, but it's pretty well pigmented so that you get a decent amount of coverage 
and it doesn't crease, which is the main thing that you want. This has kind of a satin finish. It's not like totally luminous, but it's not totally matte either. So I just paint that on with a little lip brush and then just using my finger, I just press that in. And one of my best tricks for putting on your under eye concealer and not getting creases is to not press it towards your nose because that presses creases into it. What you wanna do when you press it is almost press it and then pull a little bit toward the outside of your eye, but be very, very gentle. And you don't need a ton of product. You just need enough to cover up your darkness that you have in there. And you don't want to bring it up here too high on the nose if you're wearing your glasses. I usually do bring it up there when I'm wearing my contacts to cover up the glasses marks. But where I am going to be wearing the glasses today, the glasses will pull off the concealer. I don't really put that much concealer out here because this is where my crow's feet are when I smile. And so that's where the concealer tends to bunch up into your wrinkles most. So you want to keep the least amount of concealer out there that you can get away with. And most people don't have discolorations out there anyway. Then I always like to set my concealer because I find that with the luminosity, it just makes my under eyes look a little bit more puffy. You're gonna see the difference in how smooth it makes my under eye look. The experiment that I was gonna to do to see if we could get the makeup to stay on is that I was gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Setting Spray. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer right here. All right, so I'm just gonna tap that on. I'm gonna give that a minute to set up and then I'm just going to tap on a little bit of the setting spray and we'll see if that can keep that concealer from budging. I'm going to dust off all the excess powder under this eye. Now I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I'm just going to spray it right on my finger. And I'm just going to press that right into that concealer, let it dry, and we'll see if that is going to make that stay in spite of wearing our glasses. I did want to talk about blush and highlighter as well because when I put my glasses on, they come down to about halfway on my cheek. And so I find it really important to use a blush and a setting powder that blurs my pores because otherwise my glasses accentuate my pores and make things down here look bigger. So I like using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Blush because this has smoothing blurring powder already in it. I'm just going to use this It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Brush. Putting this on in a straight line uh, high up on my cheekbone. It's gonna help to lift my cheekbones up and really bring up that angle of my face where the glasses are kind of hanging down here, kind of drawing it down. I wanna bring everything up and help it to look uplifted. And then I'm also gonna use highlighter up here to really highlight and chisel out those cheekbones. I am going to use the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And this is so pretty, it doesn't have any glitter or anything in it, so it's just gonna give you that look like there is light reflecting off the highlights of your cheeks. And I like to put some on the front of my cheek as well to really make the apple of my cheek pop because it is kind of hidden by my glasses. And see how that just helps to bring my face up and give more shape, but while also kind of disguising my pores in that area. So the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna to use today is the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. It is a beauty and the colors aren't really that bold. They're actually really nice because they give you some variety in the shades and you can go warm or cool, shimmery or matte. I love this palette. The thing about eyeshadow and wearing glasses is there isn't one look that's perfect for every frame or every face or every glasses wearer because of course our faces are all shaped differently, our eyes are all shaped differently, and so what works for me isn't necessarily gonna work for you. What I do like to do is where the glasses definitely bring a little bit of darkness to the area and make it harder to see your eyes through the glass and through the frames, you definitely want to bring a lot more light into that area. So I do like to do a lighter lid and even a shimmery lid. And I know a lot of people who are more mature have sworn off shimmer shadows. I'm not hugely into glitter per se, but I do like a nice bright shimmer because it does reflect a lot of light back. And so that helps it to be seen from behind your lenses. All right, so first I'm gonna use this It Cosmetics 112 brush, I think it is, and I'm gonna dip into this really pale, almost white, but with a little bit of lavender in it shade. I love this color, it's so pretty 
on the eyelid and I'm just going to pack that on the movable part of my lid and I'm going to do one eye first and leave the other eye undone so that we can compare and see the difference when we put our glasses back on. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on the tip of the brush and I am going to do a little highlight here underneath my brow. I don't want to put a shimmer color up there but a nice matte shade is good and of course we will be putting some brow makeup on because that also helps to frame the face and draw attention to the eye area. All right next I'm going to go in with my MAC 221 brush and this shade up here this nice pale fawny color. This is going to be my crease shading shade. So I'm going to start with that at the outer corner and I'm going to bring it down from the crease at a diagonal to my lashes. And then I'm going to put the brush into the crease. I'm going to use small circular motions to blend that a little bit outside and above the crease. And then just following the arc of my eyeball down into the inner corner. Now you want everything to be in a line from the outer corner of your eye to the outer corner of your brow. You don't want anything below there because that's going to drag your eye down. What we're trying to do is make our eyes look uplifted. Let's see, then I'm going to use my Wayne Goss 16 brush to blend that out. I'm just going to let that come a little bit higher so that that starts to push back the part of my eyelid that falls forward and lands on my eyelashes. Next I'm going to go in with the Sigma E47 and I'm going to grab this kind of grayish color down here. This is a little bit of a shimmer. I'm going to go over that outer corner shadow and I'm just drawing that from the outer corner down at an angle to my eyelid. I'm kind of setting up where I'm going to do a little wing with eyeliner out there. And I'm just going to smudge that across about a third of my lid. Then I'm going to use that same brush. I'm going to dip into this shimmery off-white tone right here. And I'm going to use that at the inner part of my lid. Now I'm keeping that close to the lashes. That's not going above the crease. So this is really going to be what reflects a lot of light out of this area and really makes your eyes pop once you put your glasses back on. Now if I want to make that a little bit deeper and darker, I can do that too. If I want to take, say, you know, a little bit of this brown or a little bit of the blue, since I have blue frames and I'm wearing blue, I'll just take a little bit more of this navy blue and I'll just put it right at the very outer corner just to deepen that up. One thing you want to do is be sure that you look in your 10x mirror after you're done to make sure that you don't have any fallout there. And then going back to the Wayne Goss 16 to blend that out. All right, I think that looks really pretty, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. Now I'm going to go in with eyeliner. I do like to do a tight line underneath. For that, I'm going to use Marc Jacobs Highliner. This is in a really gorgeous dark navy blue color called Think. Actually, I'm almost out of this. I've got to order a new one. So to do your tight liner, I just open my eye up really big, kind of look down into my mirror, press that right at the base of my lashes, and just run it back and forth. And this eyeliner is waterproof, so it will stay right where you put it. Okay, unfortunately I don't have enough of this to do a top liner. So I'm going to switch to one that I just bought that I'm hoping is going to be similar. Kind of the Sephora version of that. This is also waterproof. This is their retractable liner. It's in this gorgeous blue color. This is called Shimmer Navy color number 19. So this is where you need your 10x mirror to be able to see what you're doing. Obviously you don't have to use blue. You can use any color that you want. Then at the inner corner, I switch from above the lashes to beneath my lashes and just kind of try to taper it down so that it makes a nice, even, smooth, smaller line going into my inner corner. I don't go all the way into the inner corner because when that gets gunked up full of makeup, that gets accentuated by your glasses magnifying things. You just go ahead and redo the tight lining. I didn't realize that that Marc Jacobs liner was so dry it didn't leave any color there. And then where you set yourself up with that little wing, if you want to do just a little wing, you can just wing this out a little bit. 
Right now I'm going to use the Sephora Colorful Contour Liner. This one's also waterproof, 12 hours waterproof. This one is in Flirting Game. This is a really pretty taupe color and I'm going to use this on my lower lashes. So I'm just going to put that below my lashes. I'm only going to do about a third. Then I'm going to use that same angled brush on the back end of my spoolie to blend that across. And then if you really want to brighten up like the inner corner of your eye, I would use a pale sparkly eyeliner that's waterproof. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner in In the Buff. And this is a really good one for doing that inner waterline on the lower lashes. So I'm just going to start that right in here. And you can do that on the inner corner as well to just give that a little spark of light that will reflect right there. Normally I don't curl my lashes, but when I'm wearing my glasses, I do like to make sure that my lashes are nice and curled. And the mascara I'm using is L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. It's my current favorite. It gives me so much length and volume, and it really holds the curl. I normally don't do lower lash mascara, especially when I'm wearing glasses. I just don't like how it looks. It can be a little flaky, it can be a little clumpy, and then the glasses magnifying that area just magnifies the flakes and the clumps, which is why you want a really great mascara like this one. The last step is to groom the brows. Having the brows be more bold and defined will really help to frame the face and to frame up your eyeglasses. So the products I'm going to use today are from Glossier. I've got the Glossier Brow Flick and the Glossier Boy Brow two of my favorite brow products. I like the Brow Flick for creating individual brow hairs and filling in where it's a little bit sparse. And then I like the Boy Brow for actually coating the hairs that I have, beefing them up and holding them into place because there's nothing that looks worse than like an unruly brow that's going the wrong direction when you're wearing glasses. It just draws so much attention to that area. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to use your brow spoolie and comb your brow hairs into place. My brows are very sparse at the inner corner, so I like to try to draw little individual brow hairs here. And then you can also lengthen the tail a bit. And you want to comb that in with your spoolie. Then I'm going to take the Glossier Boy Brow. This is more like a brow mascara and this will hold my brows in place and beef them up and give them a little bit more color. I also do use a brow serum to help grow my brows back because they were getting so sparse a few years ago. Um, you can use just like the Revital Lash or whatever lash serum you use, but I use a different one. So I use Babe Lash on my brows. All right, eye makeup is done. I still can't see it. It's all a blur to me. Check in your 10x mirror to make sure that you haven't gotten any mascara on your eyelids or any flakes down below or any fallout from your eyeshadow. All right, last thing to do is for me to just wear my glasses for a bit and check in with you to see how the makeup stays on the nose pads. But there's the finished look with the glasses. I apologize for all the glare. I tried taking pictures everywhere, trying to get no glare on the glasses. Really difficult to do. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been about an hour, so let's check and see if somehow this managed to accomplish the impossible. High hopes, let's check it out. So there's the side with no makeup. Looks about the same. Oh, wow. Makeup has been removed. So definitely makeup came off on the glasses pads. There it is. But I gotta say, I do think that this side looks better, even with some of the makeup removed, than the side where I didn't put any makeup. But of course, if you're not taking your glasses off, it doesn't really matter, does it? So makeup for glasses is pretty much like makeup for anything else. You want to accentuate the positive, accentuate your best features, and play down the things that you don't love so much that your glasses are going to accentuate. So that is it for today's video, everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.